All right, we are back to the topic about uh, using the Wushun KG UV 920P's remote control functions. For a more systematic uh, flow of discussion, I have prepared a, a, a simple workflow or flow chart of the things that I am going to cover in this series of tutorial demonstration. So here it is. Now topmost is a procedure that I have already shown to you from the previous video and it involves one-time activation on the PC using the KG UV 920P software. So after that activation we can then proceed to either a remote stun kill monitoring or inspection or a remote power off or power on of the KG UV 920P. Also we could also do remote changing of transceiver settings. I won't be covering remote stun kill monitoring procedures because this involves um, this should uh, this would require another KG UV 920P for a demonstration since I only have a uh, 1 kg UV 920P with me so I can demo this procedures so for remote power off or power on and at the same time remote changing of transceiver settings this can be done using another uh, radio serving as an HD controller or a radio controller so in the form of a handheld transmitter so for this demonstration I will be using a Baofeng UV5R uh, HT okay. All right. so for the specific procedures on how to do remote power off or power on of the Ushun KG UV 920P transceiver. We do all of this on the HT controller. First, we have to hold the PTT button of the HT controller. We key in the SCC edit plus the RCSWCO code plus the ANI edit code and then after that, release the PTT button. The SCC edit code that we are going to use based on the uh, sample uh, codes that I have presented from the previous video would be an SCC edit code of 654321, an RCSWCO code of up button, up button. So, because RCSW based on the uh, KGU UV920P software is a BB key, okay. and BB. based on the uh, uh, keypad layout of our controller is up button so BB means you have to press the up button twice All right now for the ANI edit code we use a code of 101 but we have to terminate it with a pound key because 101 is just a three digit code so less than six digits code we we'll use or terminate it with a pound key. So S hold PTT, key in the following codes, and release the PTT button. That's powering off or powering on the Ocean KG UV 920P transceiver. So let's try it right now. Okay, so for our operating frequencies on side A, we have 466.120 and 155.180 on side B. Now, using our Baofeng UV5R as HD controller with 155.180 keyed in on the frequency mode. Frequency mode. So that's frequency mode line B we could uh, remotely turn off that uh, KG UV 920P 
and to do that so let's demonstrate it now push to talk six five four three two one b b one zero one pound key and the kg uv 920p is off we could no longer use or the buttons are temporarily deactivated except of course for the power button it's the same is true with uh, the uh, uh, speaker mic controller okay. now to turn it on we use the same procedure so let's try it push to talk six five four three two one b b one zero one pound key release and the kg uv 920p has been just it's just been turned on remotely now this is using frequency from side a i mean side b we can also do remote power off or power on using frequency from side a so this is side a frequency a b frequency then we use another hd controller i have labeled radio 2 with 466.120 uh, frequency and uh, we would try to turn off the kg uv 920p is using the same procedure so push to talk I don't know if you can see this so it's it's push to talk then six five four three two one b b one zero one pound key and the kg uv 920p is off To turn it on using radio 2 466.120 use the same procedure same, same steps push to talk 654321bb101 pound key release and it's turned on so basically that's how you do uh, remote power off or power on of the KG UV 920p transceiver using HT controllers okay. so your HT controller doesn't have to be a Baofeng UV5R you could use other HT brand or make for as long as it has the keypads for DT, MF encoding. Okay, so that's it for the demo. Thanks a lot for watching.